<laughs> I'm so excited. My new sewing machine has just arrived and I'm about to unbox it. I thought I would share the experience with you, particularly if you're a sewer. You all know what I mean about how exciting this is. I, just, I can't wait. Right, so here we go. As you can see, it's from Genome and the model is the Memory Craft 5900QC. Now I bought this uh, from John Lewis. It was, I don't know if it was part of the Black Friday sale or whether it was just a general sale, but it, but it was 20% off, so that was a good deal. So I'm sort of crouching down to see. Oh. Uh, gosh, this is gonna be really difficult to get out. Let's get the little bits out of this first. Well, oh, good, it comes with a walking foot with quilting guide. That's good. What's this? And a quarter inch seam foot. Anything here? Right, no, okay. I don't know if this, and this comes out. Ah, how do I do this? Oh, <laughs> that comes out like that, okay. Oops. I'm gonna have to stand on the chair to get this out. Oh, there's a pile of stuff here too. Right, here we go. Oh, there's the cover. Oh, it's good, it comes with a great big handle. Oh, there we are. Plus instructions. I've ordered this new sewing machine. My old one still works, but it it's temperamental. Every now and then, um, the tension things just squashed and closed and you couldn't pull the thread through. I couldn't find any reason for it doing this. So I just, in the end, gave up and decided to treat myself to a new machine. Yeah, this cost more than double what my last machine cost, so. I hope it lasts better and I hope that I don't get problems with it. I'll carry this into my sewing room in a minute and plug it in, use it for the first time and I'll give you my first impressions as well. Firstly, the first thing to say about it is it's so heavy. It's much, much heavier than my last machine, which is good because actually the other one bounced a bit, but it's still got the handle for maneuvering about. Oh, I see you lift this up. Ooh, I don't know where to start. So you lift this bit up at the top here. You've got all the numbers of all the millions of stitches. I presume, does that come up? Ah. That bit comes up. Oh, I'm gonna have to learn it. Right, so let me tell you what it came with. It's got a hard cover, to be honest. I'm a bit annoyed about that. I use my sewing machine pretty much daily. I never put the cover on it. So I would have actually preferred a uh, soft cover so I could just fold it away. This is just gonna be a pain to store somewhere. I mean, at the moment, I don't belong to any sewing groups, but I guess if I do take my sewing machine somewhere else to sew, then um, this would be a nice protection if I'm carrying, taking it in the car or whatever. So I guess useful to have, but really a bit of a storage pain. It comes with this, and I'll be honest, I have absolutely no idea what that is. The plug, the foot, or the pedal. Good, this is a little bit sturdier as well than my last one. My last one was so lightweight, it just slipped around on the floor. So I don't know if these two were extras because I don't remember it saying that it came with a walking foot. I've never done quilting before. So this machine is, I think, specifically meant to help with, meant to be good for quilters. I mean, it's something that I, I kind of do with my dresses. I do layer up the fabrics. It's kind of quilting in a way, just not precise quilting. Product warranty. I know it came with a two year warranty. So I'll fill that in. The whole instruction book appears to be in English, which is actually really handy. Looks fairly easy to follow. Obviously, I won't really know that until I get going. Oh yes, you can put it in there. And in fact, I just like the buttonhole foot. 
I don't know why that's in there and all the others are in here. The free arm bit is nice and narrow, which is good because the last one was so wide, there's no point in having it. You couldn't get any sleeves around it at all. And yeah, so you can use the bit, the table bit that comes out of storage too. So the feet it comes with here, overcasting foot, cording foot, automatic buttonhole foot, button sewing foot, darning foot, and then the usual bits, bobbin, screwdriver, spool holder, um, that sort of thing. So yeah, these two ex were extras, they're not listed. So I don't know if that's a John Lewis promotion because I've got a feeling these walking foots can be quite, foots, these walking feet can be quite expensive. So if I do get into quilting, which I'd quite like to give a proper try of, um, that will be useful. I ordered it from John Lewis. The last one was from an online sewing shop, sewing machines uk.com or something like that within a few months the automatic needle threader broke for something as small as that it's not worth paying for the postage to take it back it i don't think return postage for repairs was something that they would offer so at least this way i could actually take this to a john lewis shop and get them to send it off to repair should the need arise hopefully it won't and uh, right, okay, I'm, I'm going to take it and to my room and set it up and use it for the first time. This is really exciting. Okay, I'm going to turn it on for the first time. Oh, that's exciting. I have no idea what this means yet. I am sitting here with the instructions on my lap. Apart from threading it up, it all looks set to go. It's come with a needle and the foot already on. Did you see that? Probably not, my fingers were right in front. Okay, here we go. The first ever stitches, I hope. I don't think this bobbin case is in properly. No, it's not. The bobbin case is knocking around. Well, that's not a good start. That's not right, is it? And it turns out it wasn't stitching at all, so something's gone wrong there. I followed all the instructions. By the way, I'm loving this bright light here, particularly as I work in quite a dim room. That's brilliant. So of course now that's happened, I'm worried, but um, I re-threaded it again. I did exactly what I did last time, but as I unthreaded it just now, I did actually find a knot in the thread. So hopefully that was the problem. I'm gonna try again. That actually picked up, I think. No, no, it's doing the same thing. Okay, it's something to do with the tension. What's going wrong? Look, you can't pull this thread through at all. It's, it's like there's someone yanking on it on the other side that is just not coming through. And the tension's on auto. That's why I bought an automatic tension sewing machine, so I didn't have the problem. What am I doing wrong? I'm following the instructions. I mean, this is a completely new machine. There's no dirt in it. Oh no. I'm doing something wrong. I just don't know what. Okay, my goodness, I'm so relieved right now. It seems to be working. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure why it wasn't working before. I think it was something to do with me threading it wrong. Well, threading it right, but I read through all the instructions again. I didn't understand which was the threading light. It said the threading light should come on. If the threading light wasn't on, it might not thread correctly. And I thought the threading light was just the light, but no, there is an actual light, um, which is this one, this one here. I made sure that was on. Possibly, I, I honestly don't remember when I did it before, possibly that light wasn't on before. So, thank goodness. Uh, that seems to have been the problem. I don't, perhaps I didn't, I mean, I followed the instructions, I lifted the needle and that should have brought the light on, but perhaps it wasn't on. All is well so far. And there's my first few stitches, looking nice and neat. I have to say, I'm so relieved. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to play with all the other settings today. I've got to get a bit more work done and I will come back to this tomorrow. Hello everyone. Those of you who have been watching my sewing videos will know that I've actually had this machine now for 
a few months <laughs> but I'd forgotten totally that I'd filmed an unboxing video and obviously at the time I didn't film a conclusion um, I was probably waiting to give you a few more first impressions so unfortunately this year so far has not been my most prolific with sewing I've been focusing on um, YouTube and my blog and my my clothing business has taken a bit of a back seat so I still can't tell you about all the features of this machine but I can tell you that oh my goodness I am so impressed with how quiet this machine is particularly on zigzag stitch I used to have to listen to audiobooks that I already knew the story of so that if I missed a bit while I was sewing zigzag it wouldn't matter I could fill in the story but now I can my whole audiobook and podcast range has opened up to me I can listen to all sorts of things while I'm sewing and still be able to hear it which is just fantastic also great considering uh, Chris works in the room directly below me I can hear him now talking on the phone in a meeting I hope you can't um, but anyway I used to not be able to use zigzag stitch when he was in a meeting it was just too loud for him in the room below but now it's absolutely fine so that's a huge thumbs up I'm so pleased with that on the downside it's still no good with jersey maybe I'm doing something wrong <laughs> I don't know but I bought a brand new specifically for jersey needle and when I was stitching um, the recent dresses in a sort in a pastel goth range I still struggled a lot of the time with zigzag stitch on jersey it was just skipping it was just skipping stitches they were still tight but they ended up being straight stitch not zigzag stitch because this machine has automatic tension there's no there might be ways to set it manually like I said I, ha I, I can't tell I can't say that I know this machine inside out yes I still need to use it a lot more but yeah a little bit disappointed on the on sewing jersey I like all the fancy stitching in the sort of sewing that I do I think that's great that adds quite a lot of interest and texture to my work they are slow so again it's great if you've got something to listen to at the same time and I would say the automatic tent going back to the automatic tension I think that's a really good feature I was worried about it but so far so good it's, on the one hand I was looking forward to having that feature because it meant the control was not my fault if something was going wrong it it wasn't me that had set something wrong but I was also a little apprehensive I was thinking how can a machine know what sort of tension it's meant to be at can't think of any major problems I've had with that on the jersey again it was just a problem with the jersey like I said I can only give you first impressions so don't consider this a proper review of this machine I will come back I will definitely come back and do that though so if you're interested in buying it then I can give you a bit more information so that's that really I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and would like to subscribe I really would appreciate it there are of course many sewing videos on this channel the best thing to do if that's your main interest is to find the playlist called stuff I make and you'll find all my sewing videos in that selection there okay that's it from me thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time bye